which is the transfer from pollen of one plant to another plant. It fertilizes them and it helps them reproduce. So why can't humans do this? Why do we need bees? Well, humans can do this, but it would be extremely hard to impossible. We would have to go to every plant with a little paintbrush and paint the pollen to another plant. It takes forever and we'd probably starve ourselves. We didn't have the bees to do it for us. As you can see, they have little mouth parts that goes to um, the pollen and they're able to hold the pollen with the pollen factor. Much more effective than any other organism. <coughs> Here's a graph. Now, this shows the bee loss in winter. It's normal for bees to lose around 15 to 20 percent in the winter because the temperatures decrease. It's not strange. What's strange is that in our era, 2017, it's about twice. The yellow is what's actually happening. The gray is what's supposed to happen and what used to be known. The orange shows the annual loss. So graph that most of the population dies off during winter. It's only a small percentage of from the other ones. Let's look at some causes of the population decrease. One is obviously habitat loss, less food, nowhere to go. Pollution is similar to habitat loss. It probably creates habitat loss. Now, climate change. This might seem odd. How can melting icebergs in the North and South Pole affect bees in the United States? Climate change caused winters to be shorter. And with snow ice melting faster, that means that flowers are blooming quicker. But bees don't understand that. So the flowers are blooming while the bees are still asleep. They're not pollinating. So both the flowers and the bees pay the price, and their, both their populations decrease. So what are some things you guys can do? One thing is you can plant some bee-friendly flowers and herbs, such as lavender, mint, sunflower, and sage. If you plant these plants, there are going to be an increase of bee populations in your garden. You can also help by stop using um, the pesticides and chemicals that will harm them. Not only will that help bees, but it will also stop harmful runoff to the ocean. And you should understand that bees aren't out to get you. You don't have to kill them if you just see one. They're probably not going to sting you unless you give them a reason to. And the last and most important thing you can do 